One that goes from this to another one, and then this to another one. So we call that the mesh. That's the mesh network or the backhaul. So we change the routers that we use as special software. It's a small router, mostly for inside, so the distance is short, but it goes all around. And those communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. It can communicate with three maximum. Uh, no, nope. uh, uh, it, unlimited. Yep, unlimited. Okay. Yep. So this is just a just for diagram. Uh -huh. Yeah. So wherever we put these on the roof throughout the town, they will talk to each other. Mm -hmm. They coordinate among themselves using. OLSR. OLSR, which is a routing protocol. Mm -hmm. Each one <laughs> then has another connection that it establishes as an access point. So it will look like when you're at the coffee shop and you just have a Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. So that one will also be available and off the same device. Mm -hmm. So the so there's two connections, and then they also have some of the devices have Ethernet. So that can be a third connection. So like here, when we're connected to the internet, we just take Ethernet cable and plug it in. So then, in that case, this would have three different networks. Um, if there is no internet connection, you can put a switch and hook the switch into this and it will act just like if you were connected over the access point. It just is like a connection network. So, to make sure... but it connects a very a large distance, maybe two, three kilometers. So it can connect across the town. So if I have a router that has an antenna and wireless signals are coming out of it. Same password? We can have a different password. It doesn't matter. They're they're completely disconnected from one another. Um, does that make sense? Questions? The coverage mm -hmm. between uh, 200 and 500 between uh, 250 meters. And when you talk to Andy later on, 
ناخذ بعض واحد تقوية ياسر وبعدين يعطينا انترنت ولا ولا الازرق قضية ديريكسيونال قلنا عليه يعطي الاحمر باش هو يمشي وقلنا الزرق قالوا ما بيننا وكان بين بعض مش ما ينجمش عبد يكون كتير So the purple and the باش يربط الريزو الكوزونتال ومن بعد يزيد بور اوغمونتي لا بيرفورمونس باش لا بيان ديجا اي Every node is as important as every other node. Some can have connections to the internet. So say in this building, I have a DSL out to the internet and I connect it to the node on the roof. This one will provide internet to the rest. <laughs> يوفروا الانترنت. باي زومبل هنا في الشمال اللي عملوا انه هذايا مربوط بغوتور ادي اس اي. دونك هذايا هو اللي باش يوفر الانترنت اللي فوق. معناها كان واحد يكونيكتي هنا باش يكونيكتي على الانترنت باش يتعدى معناها الشمال نتاع الباكي باش يتعدى الكل ويمشي ويخرج access to everyone on the ground yet but that is how the network grows. once you have a strong um, neighborhood covering network, you can then put devices in the windows or balconies or on the street and they will connect up here and people connect to them. Yeah. So he's asking, he has a DSL. Mm -hmm. So uh, should he connect on the node or can he contribute to increase the bandwidth of the mesh network? So the more connections there are available, the better the performance of the network will be. But you will only, um, it does not add. So if there are five connections, the bandwidth is not all five. The bandwidth will just go to the ones that are closest. So the best thing to do is to have many internet connections spread throughout the network. قال انه كيبداو فما بليزيو كونيكسيون ديبي ما يزيدش اما العباد اللي قراب باغيزومبل انت اللي تبارطاجي كونيكسيون ديالك العباد اللي قراب لو اللي انت تبارطاجي عليه يفون بوفوار سو كونيكتي مع لو تريك اللي كونيكسيون ديالك اما تبداو يبداو باغيزومبل بعاد اقرب من كونيكسيون ديالك باش يكونيكتي و تبداو Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm going to partage you to contribute. I'm going to see him with the community and to offer them a connection. For example, I'm going to have a couple of years and I'm going to have a couple of years. I'm going to have a couple of years. I'm going to have a couple of years. And you partage the connection. What is the connection? مادام هما اللي باش يستعملوا الكونيكسيون باش يخدموا انت ما تطقس تعطي ما تعطي لهم اكسيد الانترنت تاعك من بعد كنت تخرج من الدار وعندك تليفون تحب تكونيكتي بيه تنجم تكونيكتي في بلاصه بعيده على بالك ما تسحقش باش 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 يعني انت تمد شويه وهما يبداوا الكونيكسيون تسحقوا تعرفوا يعني اذا 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 No and yes. Um, the more people use the network, uh, the more you will have to share the bandwidth that is available from the DSL connections. Um, 
but that is the principle of the mesh, is that all of the devices are equal and everything is shared. And so when you connect to the mesh, you there will be hopefully some local applications that are very fast, and if you need to use the internet, you, you must understand that it is, it's shared. So it may not be as fast as if you bought your own internet connection, but the idea is that it is for everyone. Eat it. And what tall buildings or what, what resources are in that area that we can put equipment on? And the project shows the resume of our court. So, um, I mean, the first one is collecting information. Yeah, we have a template for this on the internet, but you can also, once you've done this a few times, you will remember what to do. You can take notes in a notebook, something like that. Um, so I will go. I will go through all of these. And then we can discuss and see if you have questions about this. Right. This is for one site. Many. Oh yeah. You will need to. If you, if there are photos of the site, you can say, okay, yes, I have photos of this building, and maybe you go to the roof and you take some photos of where you think the equipment could go. Um, so, this in the box is the information about the building that you're looking at. So, its name or address, for instance, if it is a business or someone's home, you can put down, you know, uh, who it is and where it is. Oh, you're going through all of them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Should send uh, the details on on a link. No, well, you collect them as a group. So everyone that is working on the network in Saida will collect these sheets and you'll have them for the photos. Oh, for the photos. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think, you, I think as you have a, if you start the network and you have a few notes, maybe there's a server where you can keep this information about them. Um, Before uh, filling this, I think that we, we need to, to agree on the part. For example, okay. That's actually what Ryan's group is doing. <laughs> so we broke it up, maybe we, you know, because we thought we didn't have time to do it all in one. Um, but you're right. In order for this to make more sense, you need to think about the whole town. All of
Then this one is master, and that's this. Uh, do I have a purple? I'm doing this one. So on this interface, in this screen, we control the settings for both of these. And that's where we make our changes. So we have a few changes that we have to do. We have to turn off the password for this, because we don't want encryption. And we have to change the encryption on this so that it's, uh, it matches. I have one password written down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, we're going to start, we'll start by configuring this connection. So we'll do edit. Yeah, we want to, we want to change the password now. So once I'm in there, wireless security. And I see the encryption is WPA PSK2. Okay. So it's just standard, yeah, standard encryption. Standard. But we just need to change and type in the key. So does somebody want to type this yeah. in? <laughs> Good luck. And then just like before. I'm going to click. Did I get it? So we'll see our other node pop up here in a second. While we're doing, while we're waiting for that, what we'll do is we want to take off the password so that we can connect to it as a unencrypted access. Right? So let's go back over here, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go back up to the top. Network. Because the signal is 
We're going to do the same thing, we're just going to edit again. I'm editing this one now. I'm going to edit this one now. Now the problem is, I'm going to get kicked off again. I'm going to get disconnected. So. And the husband company, that's right. Yeah, so. Uh, Michael Sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, how powerful is this? 14 megahertz. Um, this one is. I think it's up to N. I think so. It's It'll do. Um, no, it's not the protocol. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the micro uh, The processor. Oh, you know, I don't know. On these, I'm not sure. Ida Libre one, and it's going to route you from here to the one in the office, and then out to the internet. Okay. So you should get a. It should ask you to do a splash page. There's a interconnect like a splash page, mm -hmm. and if you click on internet, you'll be able to go to the internet. So the oh, there is internet already. Yeah, exactly. Without even. Okay. Oh, the splash page must be turned off. Yeah, Perfect. it's turned off. Yeah. So you should be able to hop right on. And that is... So let me see which one I'm connected to here. I'm on Site of Libre 0. I'm going to switch over to Site of Libre 1. It's going to automatically connect. I missed it. <laughs> ah. ah, yeah. I can't type. Tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, best time, hey. So, what we have. Sign Libre Zero, which is in the office. And then we have, we'll say, we'll call this one one. So, one. And then wirelessly, we're connected to the one in there. That one is physically wired to the internet. And away we go. So, actually, what I should do is this should be zero because it's. Yeah, of Ethernet. Ethernet over a switch. Yep, to a switch. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, so all of you have one of these, right? You have your configuration. Okay. And I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to give you one more before you go. It's actually how to install it. So it will show you how if you bought one of these from the store and you just open the box. You want to make sure that the antenna is above the top of the roof. So right now it says this is one. So just put the cable in here and this cover. And then we'll the, we'll, the water will go by and it won't drain out. Uh, what is the, uh, the normal uh, length or distance between uh, two microstations? Two of these? Yeah. Um, we've done experiments and it's 200 to 300 meters. Uh, um, but we tomorrow we'll actually have an act we'll do an activity where we test the signal along the street. So we have battery. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
على جيني صار يعني كان كان كيما لنا عمارة تعرض نحط لها واحد أصفر بين 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 They're directional, and that's why they get more range, of course, is because the signal is like this. This one is circle, it's, circle. it's for yeah. everywhere around. So the problem is, this one, you have to aim it. Like if yes, I want to course, get a turn. And if you didn't have an obstacle in between. Right. So. So there's, you know, you have to, there's trade-offs between which one you use. This one has... Uh, so I guess it won't, it won't be enough to power it with an HG45. Yeah. No, you can. 
It's you can. Yeah, possible. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, That's some pretty neat stuff. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's the result that we go with the yeah. So there's two interfaces in there, but they, it runs over power over Ethernet. There's a different. So the little, the little square thing over there take, take um, is a little bigger for this one, but you can still do it over. That's pretty neat. So the the problem Hi. with the problem with bringing hardware is that internet. It didn't have the internet. It was just this, but we had a server that was running locally. What are some of the applications that you would, whatever? Yeah, Actually, I would have thought of camera. Okay. I mean, not, not for civilians. No, you did. Yeah, but it's a show. Okay. Yeah. He was asking about how to participate in this website about Hayata. So yeah. I told him like in Facebook, so maybe you pass it through someone who, 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 who okay. sold the tomato of 500 mm -hmm. So we put okay, it's 500 million and the other is 700 million. Can we so he's saying like which, which stores uh, work online? You come back and you you can post it and say, hey, if you just drive down the street, it's a little cheaper. We do that in the U.S. all the time. There's Actually, there's the whole websites. Gas prices are set by the government. Oh, they are. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like the most of the prices are set by the government. Yeah. But what if, even like gas, what? Gas even? Prices. Even gas what? Prices are set by the government. Here. Even like if I grow oranges on my tree and no, I'm no. selling them. Okay. No, 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 But like no, 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 utilities but, uh, and. That is not uh, a big difference. Okay. Yes, okay. They, every day utility. Yeah, I'm not right. Because we work with that. Yeah, because we got a lot of interesting stuff going on. Yes, 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 we have a lot of stuff going to the EMLA because we have the Tunisian Internet Agency and we try to make, uh, what should we make, uh, uh, a server to measure the connection to the, uh, oh, really? the with the EMLA to measure the internet speed because here we have only the speed test and I hit them so uh, I was really happy that we made uh, the EMLA server here with the Tunisian Internet uh, Agency that one that uses yeah. essentially the internet. Yeah. It's pretty neat that yeah. we it switch its size this fast. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so uh, <laughs>
Um, so who did you talk to before? Um, and what did he talk about? Okay. Okay. So what we're going to talk about here is a little bit about the background of the software that we use to run a network. كيف نزيد قطعة جديدة للشبكة نتاعنا؟ باش تربط روحك أقرب روتور تشوفه، أقرب روتور تكون فيه. على على اساس السينيال وين تمشي؟ السينيال خاطر السعاده في الهواء شنو هو السينيال تنجم تشوفه وتكابتي. So if we have a single router by itself and it's it's somewhere on the street, it will send out wireless signals in all directions around it. And those signals will travel through the air until they run into a building or a tree and they will either be stopped in the case of a building, or they will lose some energy, they'll lose some power as they go through the tree. So the routers that we use, we want to try and place them in, in areas that have as few things in the way as possible. Okay. This is purple, and this router would be like red, the red router. Yeah, this one. So, you got camera, 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 camera. We will take over the translation. Okay. Um, so I will speak in English and say a few things, and then it's okay to translate. Thank you very much. Um, so so when we have a wireless router, different, um, and we want to get as much distance out of it so that it can connect to other wireless routers, in such as this, say every 200 or 300 meters. Okay. Um, where do you think the best place to put? the routers would be. Yeah, high places. Like, like what? Homes. Rooftops? Yeah, my mother's field. What other things might we want to think about when we're putting routers in the city? No obstacles. No obstacles. 
What other things did you did you think about when you were playing the the game where you were mapping? Why did you place routers in certain areas? <laughs> We use the highest public places. We use the area where most of the population. We choose the other highest buildings. Okay, okay. So the connection to the, to the most number of people. Yeah. yeah. So I think that those are the two most important things to think about when we're deciding where equipment goes. So you did it in the on the map um, by looking at where the public places were. But now we also have to think about the types of buildings that are in those areas. Yeah. Does that make sense or do people have questions about that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, so if I'm looking at a city block, some buildings are taller and some buildings are shorter. So for instance, maybe this is the main road here. And, yeah. and we want to make sure to cover both sides of the main road, but also be able to get to other areas of the city. Yeah. So as you were saying, the best places to go are on the tall buildings. So, so we put equipment on the tall buildings, and they're able to see each other because there's nothing in the way. And maybe there's other tall buildings over here, and we have another connection. But we may also have a problem if all of the equipment is very high. Because of the second part, the people. We have people down here on the street. Sorry, I'm not a good artist. <laughs> and but the signals are up high. What's well, very high to say 20 meters, 30 meters up on the rooftops? I know the heights of the buildings around here. It's yeah. like five to four floors. Yeah. Yeah. So it's at most five floors. Yeah. Five to four floors. So if we also want to make sure we cover the public place as well, say the markets or the street, we will need to have some equipment, let's say on a balcony or on a lower rooftop down here. Same equipment. Same equipment. Yeah. So then this equipment that's closer to the street will be the access points that people are connecting to. So the um, but most people's laptops and phones cannot connect to the mesh directly. They need an access point in order to be able to connect. 
And the way the software works on the devices after you install it is that it creates a mesh connection and an access point. And it does both at the same time. So when you place one of these and you in some place new in the network, so say I have another building over here, and I put a new node, a new router, up, it will each other. Same one. So it does the function of the other one. It does 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 the واللي هو اللي يعطي في الانترنت والكونيكسيون للتليفونات 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 where there's people, so where there's a lot, a lot of people, you also need to think about where the buildings that can connect to other parts of the city are near those other places. Oh, I'm going to do it like this. 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 I'm going to do and what we want to do is configure it so that it's Saida Libre 2. This is it. The end No. No, this SSID is for the mesh, and TN3 is the, is the access point. They're from the same node, but they're two different networks. Can you translate that for me? So I associate with the is always there are other IP addresses, but you can always go to 192, 168, 1.20. This address. Yep. Yep. You will always get the one you are connected to. So we're connected to this one right now. I chose TN3. I type 192.168. I go to this one. If I'm associated with this one, and I type that, I go to this one. So it depends on which one you. It will, it will give you a DCP lead. <laughs> Like, 
uh, about the direction, this is any direction or not? Yes, sure. And this is the direction. So we can use this for this sector, this for this sector, and to one the, uh, the only direction of the, the, the distance. Five kilometers. Ah, how long? Yeah, but you can get two, three, four, five, depends if it's And you can use one that one. I'll tell you more. So actually, we can use this. And these three routes will be connected. This one for this area, this one for it's like a straight line, say there's like a straight line. So this one for that area, and this route for the uh, neighborhood. So in this building, yes, all the equipment. That would be all. That would be all. So it has, so it has a lot of like straight lines between it. Okay. Yeah. Only means it has a lot of dots. Yeah, yeah. It has a lot of dots. Five dots. Of course, I mean, one this one will be connected to Zoos. Here, yeah, I don't know if they, 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 they work as a repeater. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Dots. Two, dot three, dot four. One here. It has Just a lot of dots. Three. Dot one, so you probably want to go from 68 to 1,000. Because these are like... The universal dolphins were the dolphins. Oh yeah. People just said that. Yeah, where else do people want to have you? Or are we missing places where there are people on it? Maybe here people are in coffee. Yes, there's a book. In the harbor? And the souk. Yeah, actually, there's some place here that we missed. We drew a bit of the The market, there's a market here. You can put it on the table. Almost done. So far from here. Yeah. Well, I guess only one table. We have to keep it. Oh. Yeah. Or concrete walls in some places where there's no hole. Um, and then you would just mount this to the side of the pole. Well, the bike it goes with uh, this one, I suppose. Yeah. They can, they can both mount to a pipe, and so any pipe you can, you can mount this to, but this plate also has holes, and you can put a screw through and put it on the wall pretty much anywhere. <laughs> This is a roof mount where this base may be concrete or metal. And now I, where's my head? There. And so you may have a base. That is very heavy, made of concrete, and a pipe comes out where you have the satellite dish. And so you can use something like that, only without the satellite dish. Does the satellite dish make a problem? It would, and I'll talk about that in a sec. Because you should just put the existing ones. So if there's already a satellite dish mount there, and you were to place the equipment, so here is the router, you put the wireless equipment there, the same way you have it. No. Ah, back.
Served by this router is uh, how much? 300 meters. Uh, I guess it won't be in between. Yeah. 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 Another one in between here. Um, what is the what provider do you use? Topnet. Top. Topnet. Top okay. Top net. Which one is my It's, for, it's more easy for us to, to read the, 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 the right English than it is to read. Yeah, I know, right? So, what do they do? They give you a box yeah. that comes in. Okay, so this is a box, and it has, and then this one goes, and then there's a bunch of these. Right? So, if I connect my laptop like I'm at home and I connect <laughs> to this what do I get so maybe we can ask her maybe you can tell us where else we should write it no you write <laughs> what do I get Let's say like this is at a computer lab, right? And I've got a bunch of laptops here. Right? This is just a switch. Right? Okay. And these computers won't have any internet access, right? They can talk to each other, but unless there's some other connection. So we'll say that there needs to be some other connection. Okay, so there's two different ways that this can be connected. Okay. Access point? Right, I'm sorry. Physically. There is an access point. And then there is a mesh. So we, we understand the mesh and the access point. Those are pretty easy. Here, another one. The only here. thing that is going here is there is no connection, no data. So, like this, we pretend that there's no data connection. I'm not connected here, and I'm not connected here. So, that's it. It's just one way to go. Exactly. Right now, yeah. so this is 101, 102, 101, 102. One dot twenty. Always. 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 We choose that for configuration. It's an alias. It's not a real. Network. It's not a real interface. It's an alias for each one of these. Right? So no matter what, there is always there. Now, if I connect this here, 
This interface now gets. So I guess we are here with the other like the hotel that has this. So you know, like screw this. Yes, exactly. Yep. There's one. It's just split. Yeah. One has power. One has power. So, I guess, yeah, the way to the same. But the atoms from the idea. Yeah. 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 I'm told. I'm told. I'm told. I'm